but hey everybody um i just wanted to ha have a quick tutorial about the new corona 8 um specifically about the uh photographic parameters it, they've kind of adjusted a little bit of the settings the way they had it set up in the past and uh caught, <laughs> kind of caught me off guard a little bit kind of uh confused me and my workflow and uh, i just wanted to create a tutorial about about this and hopefully it will save some people a little, a little extra time that it caused me and, and some headaches the other day. Uh, so basically uh, the photographic parameters here uh, you'll notice a little bit of a difference. Uh, it used to be uh, you can set your your exposure settings here usually the default is like a simple exposure um, and then you could do like a, a global exposure or a photographic exposure and then you would have like your uh, the default settings would be like ISO uh, 100, ISO, uh, the f-stop 16, and then the shutter speed would be like 50 or something like that, right? So I just have like this default scene, and then if we go ahead and just hit the render button, uh, we default uh, to to this guy, right? You know, everything's working. Let's just go ahead and go to the start IR. So this is the interactive render. You can kind of see that uh, this, you know, the camera's working, everything's updating properly. Um, by by default, the uh, the simple exposure is actually turned on, uh, which is which is what it usually is defaulted to, uh, which is fine. But I usually like to work in the photographic uh, sense of things uh, for for my my workflow. Um, so what you can do is just simply uh, untick it, check it off, or you can even just delete it like I had before. And uh, so go ahead and turn on the photographic exposure. And so now if you select your camera, it will now represent what's going on, you know, in your in your settings. So I can change it here and it will respond accordingly. Um, whereas like if you have the photographic exposure off, you know, you could change these to your heart's content and it doesn't work. And so it was driving me batty the other day and I couldn't figure out why. And this is this is basically the, the, the tool that you need now in the tone mapper. Uh, so they basically moved those parameters from from here from your camera into the actual uh, frame buffer here and so you just have to add that just simple uh, exposure so they, they changed the tone mapper a little bit so now it's kind of like a a la carte so you can add and remove whatever you want so uh, you can also add like multiple contrasts multiple saturations which is pretty cool so you can kind of like stack it up you can move and organize all these guys to your heart's content so, like i can just uh throw the contrast down here can move that all around uh, so it's pretty cool, uh, simple update, but I didn't um, see any documentation about any of this. Uh, so it kind of threw me for a loop when I was trying to adjust my lights and, and, and the, uh, the settings of the camera and nothing was responding. And so I was like, ah, what is going on? And then finally found this, uh, the, the photographic, they moved the photographic exposure settings to over here. And then of course you can always create your own tone mapping settings per camera as well. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that saves, uh, somebody couple extra headaches <laughs> that I had to uh, overcome the other day.